Today I'm going to be platinuming the Bioshock Trilogy, and if you couldn't tell, the first game that I'll be platinuming is Bioshock. Now back in 2017, I played the game up until the Peach Wilkins encounter, which means I've already unlocked 11 out of the 54 trophies, but I never progressed past that point, so I was unaware what I was in for when I started this game. Now we begin the game in 1960 while on a plane traveling across the Atlantic Ocean. Sadly, the plane ride did not last much longer because we ended up crashing into the ocean. What the hell happened? Are there any other survivors? I don't think so. I don't really like how we just crashed right by this place. Like, what is this place? What the hell is this thing? This thing was called a bathysphere, and once I entered, it took me underwater and revealed to me the underwater city Rapture. The bathysphere then led me to the entrance to the city where I witnessed a man getting killed by a splicer, and as it walked away, a voice called out. Would you kindly take off that radio? Why, why is the voice so quiet? Oh, okay. I didn't have the radio on. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Thank you. Now keep on moving. Listen, I've got a family. I need to get them out of here. Go to Neptune's bounty. Find my family, please. What are you doing here, Atlas? Like, what? There's no way you were on the plane crash. As I was making my way towards Neptune's bounty, the founder of Rapture, Andrew Ryan, initiated a lockdown and sent his splicers to take us out. This roadblock caused us to change our path and head over to the medical pavilion where an emergency bathysphere was waiting for me. Use emergency access control. Of course, access denied. What a surprise. If you want to use the emergency access, you'll be needing Dr. Steinman's key. While on my way to find Dr. Steinman and get the key, I encountered a security camera and I decided to hack it. So far, I'm not doing too bad on the hacking. Thought I'd be doing worse. Yeah, pretty solid. And we got the trophy hacked a security camera. And that is for successfully hacking a security camera. And after hacking that security camera, the game thought it'd be funny to pull a little prank on me. Oh my gosh. I can't see. Oh, I picked up something. Someone's in here with me though. Oh my fucking god. I did not expect him to be right behind me and after literally shitting my pants it was time to go and confront dr steinman and get the key viewing rooms okay whoa 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 holy shit steinman hey hey chill out what's this guy he's ugly 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 put the gun down just because i'm ugly doesn't mean you gotta shoot me oh yeah security drone get him get him push the shotgun we're going in i missed got him it's gonna be a long journey back but we'll do it oh i can't go back the same way are you serious everything's gotta go wrong no here's your chance to get some atom what do i have to do to get the atom to get the atom i had two choices atlas wanted me to harvest the little sisters which would kill them but give me more atom and dr tenenbaum who we just met right there wanted me to help save the little sisters this would give me less atom but she said she'd make it worth my while what's up Thank holy you. shit you got some big ass eyes Tenenbaum's playing you for a sap. Those things may look like wee little girls, but looks don't make it so. You need all the atom you can get to survive. Dude, how do I know you're not playing me for a fool? I don't even know you. You just called on a radio and like, hey, buddy, I'll help you. All right, let's use the emergency access and let's get out of here. I don't know how you managed it, but you did. Come through to Port Neptune now. I'm looking forward to shaking your hand. Once we arrived at Neptune's bounty, Atlas informed me that his family was in a submarine hidden in the foundations of Fontaine Fisheries and that he'd meet us there. But before I headed over there to meet him, I decided to hack a vending machine. Another hack in the books. And we got the trophy hacked a vending machine. And that is for hacking a vending machine. If I didn't read these descriptions, you guys would not know what those trophies were for. I also stopped at a place called the Gatherer's Garden to spend my atom, and I decided to purchase a plasma slot. I'll purchase this as well. And we got the trophy bought one slot. And that is for purchasing one slot in any plasmid or tonic track. Once I reached the fisheries, I met Peach Wilkins. But he was not going to let me in until I retrieved a camera for him. So once I got that for him, he decided to let me in. Before you head into the fisheries, a word to the wise. Old Peachy seems about as straight as a dog's hind leg. So don't trust him? Don't worry, I'm not trusting anybody. Put your weapons in the new hole, and then I'll let you in. I don't trust this at all, but I'm gonna have to do it. Well, I have my wrench, okay? I, that's fine. All right, well, time to fight Peach. Doesn't seem like he was a fan of me. Don't know where he's at, though. Yes, the security camera. Hey, Peach, can I take a picture of him? A nitro splicer, that's what he is? Okay. Get him. He's so close. That machine gun is tearing me apart. Burn him to death. Burn him. Yes, we got him. Should be smooth sailing from here. I'll meet you up ahead. Oh my god, we're finally gonna meet you. What are these pictures? Do we trust this guy? Can't trust anybody, no matter how bad they want to see their family and they don't shut up about it. We then made our way over to the submarine and let Atlas into the room, but Ryan was not having it. So dark in here. If only your friend could look up and see you. Maybe you could warn him. 
No, my only friend. Get me family out and we'll regroup as soon as we can. Okay, as long as you didn't die, you're my friend. I'll save your family though, never mind. I mean, they might be okay. Honestly, who knows? Maybe maybe they're immune to fire and explosions. Or maybe they weren't even on that submarine. Always got to be optimistic. But he seemed pretty sure that they were on that submarine. I was now approaching the bathosphere and rolling hills, but then Ryan released a gas that started killing the trees. This would eliminate the oxygen and rapture. So before I could leave, I was going to have to revive the trees. And to do that, I needed Dr. Julia Langford's help. Julie, we made a business deal, you and I, did we not? Ryan Industries maintains exclusive rights to the creation of the Lazarus Vector. Ownership is civilization. Wait, no, please. This feels like dead space. Every time you see someone, they just die right in front of you. Nine, four, five, six. Seven. Well, thanks for writing that down. I put that code into the safe and found the formula to the Lazarus Vector. And if I was able to invent this, I could revive the dead trees. And as I was searching for the items needed to create the Lazarus Vector, I took a break and began hacking this turret. On to my 50th hack for the day. Boom. And we got the trophy skilled hacker. And that is for 50 hacks. Did I just say that? What did I just say? I think I said something like onto my something hack today. After getting that trophy, I collected all the components needed to create the vector. Got it all. We got everything. Let's invent the Lazarus vector. And we got the trophy basic inventor. And that is for successfully inventing at least one item. All right, let's go deliver this thing. Sir, you're not supposed to be here. All right, what do I do? Where do I add it? Up here. Misting machine. Insert vector. We did it. And we got the trophy restored the forest. And that is for restoring the forest of Arcadia. Next stop is Ryan's house. Oh my gosh, we're going to Ryan's house. Dreams are coming true. Why are you so resistant to the traditional methods of separating a man from his soul? You're not CIA, are you? I don't think I'm CIA. I could be something, but I was on a plane that crashed. Unless we purposely had the plane crash, that don't make sense. There's other ways to get to places. To Fort Frolic we go. You're almost there. The spare to Ryan is up on ahead. Of course, Sander Cohen wasn't going to just let anyone use that bathysphere. So if I wanted to use it, I was going to have to play along with his games. All right, looks like we're here for the show. Oh God, you sick fuck, let me out of there. <laughs> Photograph the dead pianist. I don't, uh, I don't have any film. What are you waiting for? I don't have any film in my camera. Fitzpatrick can't hold that pose forever. Well, he might, because he's dead. I then purchased all the film that I possibly could, since I had a sneaking suspicion that I'd be needing to take more than one photo. That was a waste of film. Place his photograph in my masterpiece. Little weird, but... Okay. Before I went to go find Cohen's masterpiece, I found a weapon upgrade station first. The thing is, I haven't really been using the guns that much. I've been using the wrench, but I kind of want to max out my shotgun. And we got the trophy one fully upgraded weapon. And that is for fully upgrading one weapon. My masterpiece. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Touch it. That's probably the weirdest thing you could have said. If I had to choose a frame, I want to choose this one because it's being hung upside down by people, I guess. I don't know. Cohen then wanted me to complete the masterpiece and to no one's surprise, the only way to finish it was to take three more photos of corpses. So once I did that, it was time to complete it. Let's just put them all in the frames. I don't really care where they go. And we got the trophy completed Cohen's masterpiece. And that is for completing Sandra Cohen's great masterpiece. And honestly, it is such a great masterpiece because of my photos, not because of his stuff. After completing the masterpiece, Cohen granted us access to the bathysphere. We then traveled to Hephaestus where Ryan's office was located, but the door was locked. So we headed into the core room to find answers on how to access it. And while I was searching, I came across another weapon upgrade station. All right, we got another weapon upgrade station right here. I think this will max out the machine gun if I do this. Yes, it did. And we got the trophy two fully upgraded weapons. And that is for upgrading two weapons. I then found what I was looking for. If I was going to access Ryan's office, I was going to have to overload the core with this EMP, but it was not completed. So I was going to have to build it. And while I was searching for the components, I once again found another weapon upgrade station let's max out the pistol and we got the trophy three fully upgraded weapons i then grabbed all the components for the bomb and headed back to the casing to put it together all right let's construct the bomb oh i gotta pick it up now where the hell did i just place that here we go to the core mark my words your only reward will be a knife at the back damn are you trying to say that atlas is going to betray me well, we overloaded the core. Once we overloaded the core, we were finally able to enter Ryan's office. New goal, kill Andrew Ryan. I like the sound of that. Time to destroy! Ryan set the core to self-destruct. Yeah, I could tell. Wouldn't it be better if this whole place just goes down? All right, let's go down here. 
What the hell is this? Is that me? Right there? That is me right there. Th that's the sweater I have on. Baby is now a year old. Weighs 58 pounds. 58 pounds? Oh, that's right. We learned that I think Jasmine was pregnant. That creepy Dr. Tenenbaum promised me it wasn't going to be a real pregnancy. They just take the egg out once Mr. Ryan and I had... Oh. We learned in the Eve Club that Jasmine was pregnant, that they were going to take the baby out of her or something. I feel like I'm the child. Hopefully, Ryan confirms my theories or tells me something else. Little did I know that not even a minute later, Ryan would be answering all of my questions in his monologue that he'd been preparing for me. You think you have memories. A farm. A family. An airplane. A crash. Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? Forced down by something less than a man, something bred to sleepwalk through life until they are activated by a simple phrase. Would you kindly? Familiar phrase? Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly get this? head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch. I didn't even realize that. A man chooses. A slave obeys. Kill! That looked really weird. Grab Ryan's genetic key! Now would you kindly put it in that goddamn machine? I can't believe I've been- I was beat- I don't even know what to say. Uh, but we got the trophy for defeating Andrew Ryan. Um, so Atlas knows about me. And he took advantage. So now I gotta stop this place from blowing up. Self-destruct override. I don't really want to override it though, but I guess I have to. Nice work. By all, there ain't no Atlas kid. Never was. The name's Frank Fontaine. As I sat there with my mind blown, Frank revealed to me that he had faked his death to throw Ryan off his trail. And now that I had eliminated Ryan, Rapture was not going to be free like we thought. It's more like under new management. Damn, Atlas wasn't even real. Now I needed to get the hell out of here. And thankfully, I had some little sisters helping me out. Can you run a little faster? I mean, good thing I saved all the little sisters. Whoa! Was that a trick? Did you guys just trick me? I ended up falling into Dr. Tenenbaum's safe house. And when I woke up, the doctor deactivated the would you kindly phrase, but I was not fully fixed just yet. Frank still had some control over me. So now my new goal was to free myself from him. And while I was searching for answers on how to do so, I stumbled upon a gift from Tenenbaum. What do we have in this gift? 200 Atom Armored Shell 2. And we got the trophy Tonic Collector. And that is for collecting or inventing 58 tonics in the physical engineering and combat tracks. And after receiving that gift, I wanted to spend some of the Atom I just got. And we got the trophy Maxed 1 Track and that is for purchasing every slot in one of the plasmid or tonic tracks. I was then searching the suites, looking for answers on how to cure myself, when I found our friend Mr. Cohen's room. Oh my god, it's Cohen's room. I hear your wings flapping in my home. Stay and enjoy the dance, but don't dare rattle their rhythm. Trust me, I would never rattle their rhythm. That would be absurd. Like, they're actually in love. You can't hate on it. Oh, can I play the grand piano? I'm okay, well, I rattled your rhythm. I'm sorry. I just wanted to show you guys I can play the piano. When will you ever learn to take instruction? I'm coming down there, little boss. Mr. Cohen. Hey, this is all a misunderstanding. I'm so sorry. $66, 32 anti-personnel rounds, and a key. Let's go up here. And we got the trophy found Cohen's room. And that is for entering Sander Cohen's personal quarters. And guess what? Inside his quarters, there was another weapon upgrade station. Let's max out the grenade launcher. And we got the trophy for fully upgraded weapons. I then accidentally took a photo of Cohen's corpse while trying to take a picture of this enemy attacking me. What, what is this? I didn't get any points from him? We got the trophy irony. Wait, wait, wait. As we're taking a picture of Sander Cohen's corpse. After searching through all the suites, I found an audio diary titled Mind Control Antidote. And after listening to it, we learned of the Lot 192 remedy. We then found out that a dosage of the remedy was located up in Frank's suite. Here is the Lot 192. That should cure me from the mind control, right? I drank it. Free me. Why do I only have security bullseye? Okay, so it has caused some side effects. Your plasmids have become unstable and you are temporarily unable to choose which one you have equipped. Okay, well that answers the question of why I only have security bullseye. I should have known you would need a larger dosage. You will have to locate another dosage. Another dosage? Where am I going to find that? You'll find it in Sushong's apartment. No need to thank me though. The lot 192 should be here, so we should be able to heal ourselves, I hope. And we got the trophy broke Fontaine's mind control. Now that I had freed myself, it was time to take down Fontaine. And my next objective caught me by surprise. 
Become a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Become a big daddy. The only way to get through that door Fontaine went through is to have a little one open it for you. Okay, let's become a big daddy, but first, let's get another weapon upgrade. Gonna max out a weapon here, so we'll probably get a trophy for maxing out five weapons. <laughs> And before I found any of the Big Daddy equipment that I needed, I found the final weapon upgrade station. And I'm gonna take a guess and say we might possibly get a trophy for fully upgrading six weapons. I then found the Big Daddy boots and the pheromone samples, but then I ran into an actual Big Daddy and he was protecting the final little sister that I had to rescue. Wait for the little sister to come out because I do need to rescue her. Shock. Hey, take it easy. I mean no harm to you or your family. Got him. I put him out of his misery. Now, don't worry. I'm going to become a big daddy in the future, but I'm rescuing you. All the little sisters have thanked me. It's okay. And we got the trophy dealt with every little sister, and that is for harvesting or rescuing every possible little sister. I ended up rescuing them all because I wanted to be a good guy. After rescuing the final sister, I approached the final audio diary that I had to pick up. We should get a trophy when I pick this up. And we did. We got the trophy historian, and that is for finding every audio diary. Now it was time to transition into my final form by acquiring the bodysuit and the helmet. I kind of want to wear a bouncer helmet not a rosy helmet but if i have to wear a rosy helmet i guess i will and we got the trophy became a big daddy now that i was a big daddy i could get a little sister to follow me and lead me to fontaine and after the longest escort mission in gaming history we reached the end of the line with her which meant it was now time to go upstairs and take down the adam infused fontaine i'm not allowed to save the game and there's no vita chambers consequences actually drain adam from fontaine hit him with the needle i didn't know he would look like this I don't know what I expected. All right, let's drain his Adam again. One more thing of Adam left to drain. The, the dude's literally Electro. He seeking RPG. Do the do the job. We got him. Drain his Adam. I mean, you look kind of cool, but you also don't. I thought you would look like a normal human, but I guess that's what Splicing does. I sent you topside. I called you back, showed you what you was, what you was capable of. Even that life you thought you had, that was something I dreamed up and I tattooed inside your head. And we got the trophy defeated Atlas, and that is for defeating Atlas, aka Fontaine. And now, uh, Hell yeah, the little sisters unite and take him down. And we got the trophy Little Sister Savior. And that is for completing the game without harvesting any little sisters. Since I successfully rescued all the little sisters, I achieved the good ending, granting them a life beyond rapture. But to be honest, I kind of wanted to take over the world. But I guess I'll take this ending. So I think I might include this after I beat the game, but I'm going for this before I fully uh, turn into a big daddy. But I gotta go take the picture of some enemy types so I can get their trophies for fully researching them and get the trophy for fully researching everything in the game. I did end up getting some of these enemy types fully researched before this, but I decided to just include them all here since like I said, there is a trophy for fully researching everything in the game. And the only one that I left to research was the bouncer. And I found one pretty much immediately. So I need to find, yeah, this guy right here. This should be the final thing I have to research, but I don't know how far I am on the levels. Oh, we're so close. I gotta find one more. I think there might be one back here. Now listen, I just wanna take some pictures. Oh, we're so close. One more, one more picture. That's all I ask for. Hopefully that is fully maxing out the bouncer. We got the trophy for fully researching the bouncer. And we got the trophy Research PhD, and that is for maxing out all the possible research. The next trophy I went for was to unlock all the available tonic tracks, and to unlock the final slot, all I had to do was find an Eve's Garden Machine. If I remember correctly, there was one upstairs right here. Please let me upgrade the engineering one. Alright, the next trophy that I'm going for is called Ammo Inventor, and to unlock this trophy, I have to unlock every possible- Take this! chill out. To unlock this one, I have to invent every single ammo type. Now, I hope I have enough to invent these ammo types. We'll go one, two, three. Never mind. We, <laughs> we got the trophy already. And the next trophy I'm going for also involves inventing. For this one, I have to invent 100 items. And I know for sure I have not invented even close to 100 items. So we're going to be here for a while. Never mind. I take it back. Once again, I'm wrong. No surprise there. All right, and the final trophy that I'm going for before I do my survivor playthrough without using any Vita Chambers is called Lucky Winner. And to get this trophy, I have to hit the jackpot. I was running out these slot machines trying to hit the jackpot. And after pulling that lever hundreds of times, I was honestly losing all hope that I'd ever hit it. But a wise man once said that 99% of gamblers quit right before they hit the big one. Ah, oh, Three dollar signs, please. 
We got it. And we got the trophy lucky winner. And that is for hitting the jackpot at the slot machine. And now the final four trophies that I have left to unlock are all difficulty specific trophies. Now the main trophy that I'm going for is called I Chose the Impossible. And to get this trophy, I have to complete the game on survivor difficulty without using a Vita Chamber. Now the other three trophies that I have left, not including the platinum, will unlock if I complete this successfully. I will be playing the game on survivor difficulty in New Game Plus without a Vita Chamber. So it's going to be easier than if I just did it right out the gate. But honestly, I really did enjoy this game. So I don't have an issue playing it twice. New Game Plus made this playthrough 10 times easier, and I was also able to get through the game a lot faster since I wasn't picking up every diary and killing all of the big daddies. And here we are. I've made it all the way here on Survivor Difficulty without using a Vita Chamber, but now it's time to go upstairs, confront Fontaine, beat the game on Survivor Difficulty, and get the Platinum Trophy. It's safe to say that I'm a little bit nervous for this. Oh, let me drain your Adam right from your bulge. Ow! Extracting the first three vials of Adam from Fontaine was pretty easy, but with one vial of Adam left to fill, I had one med kit remaining and he had half of his health left. So if I wanted to succeed on my first try, I was going to have to lock in. I'm ready for you. Is he? Oh shit. He is ready for me. He wasn't lying. Someone's got to have a med kit lying around here. I got him. This is it, right? I got him. Confidence is key. I don't really have much confidence, but I think I got it here. Yes. I thought I was going to die at least once. I almost did. Get them, girls. This is my real family. I guess you could say that's a Bioshock. Does that make sense? Maybe. Maybe not. We got the trophy seriously good at this, and that is for completing the game on hard difficulty. We're going to get a bunch of trophies here. We're just going to let them all pop. We got the platinum trophy first. That is for unlocking all the trophies. Okay, well, none of the other trophies popped. That is the first time that's happened to me. Now it is time to move on to Bioshock 2. And we begin the game in 1958 on New Year's Eve. We are subject Delta. And as we are doing our rounds with our little sister, Eleanor, she runs off. And once we caught up to her, we found her being attacked by a group of splicers. So Delta jumps down to protect her, but then gets hit with a hypnotized plasmid. Sophia Lamb then appears to inform us that this little sister is her daughter. She then hands us a pistol and forces Delta to use it on himself. We then wake up 10 years later at a Vita chamber and begin to receive telepathic messages from our little sister. Dr. Tenenbaum then gets a hold of us and informs us that to save Eleanor, we must travel across the ruins of Rapture to Fontaine Futuristics, where Eleanor is currently being held. And as we made our way to Dr. Tenenbaum, we encountered a big sister. Daddy's home. Oh no, this is not good. I like it out here. It's pretty peaceful. No, I don't want to go inside. I like it out here. We got the trophy daddy's home i said that like five minutes ago but that is for finding my way back into the ruins of rapture and as i made my way back inside there was a door blocking my path so i picked up this hacking tool don't waste hack ammo okay how the hell do i sh oh broken glass that's a lot easier hack than last time. We got the trophy distance hacker, and that is for using the hack tool to hack an object at a distance. As I advanced towards Dr. Tenenbaum, Dr. Lamb unleashed her entire cavalry on me. Quickly, head for the elevator. And we got the trophy counter attack, and that is for killing an enemy with its own projectile. Where's the elevator at? Holy crap, go to the elevator. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Thankfully, I was able to make it to the elevator with minimal damage. And once I took it upstairs, I was finally able to meet Dr. Tenenbaum. Intercom switch. Uh, there has to be something in between us for me to talk to somebody. This is why I must fight Sophia Lamb. She is using the new little ones for something. And I have returned to rescue them. Citizens, Citizens of Rapture. Rapture. This, this is, is Subject, Subject Delta. Delta. And as, as family... family we must tear out its jaw and drive it back into the sea. I don't agree with that. Just gonna put that out there. Lamb will take this place apart to find you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape. Gotcha, don't worry. I will hold them off like my life depends on it. <laughs> Stay back, guys. You don't want to mess with me. There we go. I can't wait to loot all the bodies after this. We got the trophy protector, and that is for defending myself against Lamb's assault in the train station. We then got introduced to Augustus Sinclair, and he told us to take the train to Ryan Amusement to meet up with him. But when we arrived, the exit door was covered in ice, and if I wanted to melt the ice, I was going to have to go inside the park and purchase the incinerate plasmid, but I wasn't able to get in without a ticket. And while searching for one, I approached my first weapon upgrade station. What can I upgrade? Oh, I can't upgrade the drill. Okay. I do want it to be more efficient. And we got the trophy upgraded a weapon, and that is for upgrading a weapon at a power to the people station. I then found a ticket and entered the park. But before I could really do anything, I needed to use the bathroom. <laughs> oh no, someone's crying while they're taking a shit. I don't blame them. I would too. Is there someone behind me? The toilet just flushed. What? <laughs> 
I knew it was going to happen, and yet I still fell for it. After shitting myself once again, Sinclair informed me that I'd need some Adam to purchase the new plasmid, so I was going to have to take down a fellow Big Daddy and steal his little sister. I'm the real Big Daddy! They're not making a game about you. Just go down. Just go down. I'm sorry. Take a breath, son. You did it. Just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. I'm adopting you? And we got the trophy adopted a little sister. And that is for adopting a new little sister for the very first time. Once I adopted the sister, I needed to let her gather Adam from two bodies. And as I approached the second body that we needed, I noticed a turret. I'm gonna hack it. <laughs> He's not gonna be ready for what hits him here. And we got the trophy prolific hacker. And that is for hacking one of each kind of machine. The machines will rise up and take over one day. I want to be on their side. The little sister then extracted the atom from the body, and then I rescued her and sent her home. Doing so granted me enough atom to purchase the incinerant plasmid. And as I made my way back to the train, a big sister was approaching. I think the place is on lockdown or something. Oh, I'm getting sucked. I'm getting sucked. Oh, not you again. We can make a great pairing. If you would just chill out. Oh my god, I'm about to get her. We got the trophy unbreakable, and that is for defending myself against the big sister without dying. And we finally can melt this down. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. This guy is not coming out and jumping on. You're using me. I like to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places. And we got the trophy Sinclair solution, and that is for joining forces with Sinclair and Ryan Amusements. I would like to formally apologize. I thought he was going to turn on me, so I prematurely flipped him off. We then continued our journey to Fontaine Futuristics, but we were once again stopped, this time by Dr. Lamb who locked down the railway. So now we had to get the override key from Grace Holloway, and as I began my search for Grace, I took out a big daddy and rescued a little sister, and then decided to spend some of my atom. Let's get a... another plasma slot. And we got the trophy bought a slot, and that is for buying one plasma or a tonic slot at a gatherer's garden. Finding Grace was not going to be easy thanks to a brute splicer who blocked my path with debris. Sinclair then called in and informed me that if I could obtain a research camera and study the brute, that I'd be able to get past the debris. And as I was looking for the camera, I came across another weapon upgrade station. You know, I've been mainly using the drill, so I'm gonna max it out. And we got the trophy fully upgraded a weapon, but here's the camera. Start your camera recording him, then hit him with a little bit of everything. I'm recording now. That's interesting. I like that it shows me in the bottom left hand corner now what I'm researching. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. And we got the trophy first research, and that is for researching a splicer with the research camera. And as I was making my way over to the brute splicer, I encountered a big daddy. And you already know what I had to do. Go down, big daddy. And we got the trophy granddaddy, and that is for defeating three big daddies without dying during the fight. Then I was able to research the brute and unlock a powerful dash attack, which I used to destroy the debris that was blocking my path. Now Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key. Persuade her? You mean kill her. Alright Grace, I'm gonna try and go in and persuade you, but if it doesn't end well, I'm gonna kill you. We might be on the same side here, Grace. Just give me the key and I won't hurt you. Go on, take it. I won't have you touching me. But baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Broke my jaw. Come on in and finish the job. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed, for what it's worth. Yeah, I'm not going to kill an unarmed person. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. And we got the trophy yeah, Confronted Grace, and that is for confronting Lamb's Lieutenant in Popper's Drop. I was then making my way back to the train station when I ran into a thuggish splicer. And we got the trophy One Research Track, that is for maxing out one research track. I then used Grace's key to lift the lockdown, and we departed from Popper's Drop. I don't know where we're going next, but at least we got out of here. Where are we at now? Hear me, O oh ye who would murder the Lamb of God, ye shall never reach her God. That's a missile. Thanks, asshole. The next closest functioning train was located in Dionassus Park, which was currently flooded. So we were going to have to go into Siren Alley, eliminate Simon Wales, and drain the park of all the water. New goal defeat Simon Wales. Which one is Simon? Oh, you're Simon. Wait, no. Who and where is Simon? I need to find him. This has to be Simon. You're going down, Simon. This is war. And we got the trophy defeated the preacher and that is for defeating the preacher and after killing Simon, we drained the park and traveled over to it and once we arrived we met stanley pool who promised to open up the trains if we were to get rid of the three little sisters traversing dionassus park and as i was searching for the three sisters i entered a room containing a bunch of security gotcha oh reload 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 oh, i thought i was reloaded already really showed my uh sharpshooting skills right there got it now can i hit this one from beyond the arc i gotta reload again there we go 
Boom. And we got the trophy Master Hacker. And that is for hacking 30 machines at a distance with the hack tool. I then picked up my first little sister. And after I let her gather some atom from a body, I got a trophy. And we got the trophy Master Gatherer. And that is for gathering 600 atom with little sisters. And after rescuing the first sister, we absorb some memories from the atom. When mother was taken away, Stanley was left in charge of Dionysus Park. He spent all her money through these mad parties. It was like he was trying to ruin her. Stanley's a playboy. There's nothing else to it. And after rescuing the second sister, we absorb some more memories. That's me there. I confronted Stanley. Said I'd tell mother what he had done. He panicked took me away and sold me to an orphanage. He's the reason I was turned into a little sister. And once again, after rescuing the final sister, we absorbed even more memories. With me gone, father, Stanley just let mother's followers turn into animals. When word came that she was returning, he knew they would blame him. So he found a way to silence them all. And now he's trying to cover it up. And we got the trophy Nose for News, and that is for uncovering the secret of Dionys Park. And after learning the truth, I decided to buy a bunch of ammo. Just buying all the ammo I can buy. We got the trophy Big Spender, and that is for spending $2,000 at a vending machine. I then traveled back to the train station where Stanley was waiting for me, and I had the option to either spare him or kill him. I don't like you, Stanley, but I'm not going to kill you. Let's go to Fontaine Futuristics. We had finally done it. We made it to Fontaine Futuristics, but we were once again stopped, this time by Gil Alexander, or I should say what was left of him. Alexander had absorbed copious amounts of atom, which drove him insane. Thankfully, past Gil left some recordings behind detailing that he was located in the plasmid lab, but current Gil had control over security and was blocking my path which meant I was going to have to shut that down. But before I did that, I needed to spend some of my atom. Let's max out the Electro Bolt. And we got the trophy fully upgraded a plasmid, and that is for fully upgrading one plasmid to the level three version. Now it's time to destroy all four of Gil's signal relays. Destroy the signal relay. I'm very disappointed in you, Delta. Destruction of a Fontaine asset is punishable by summary dismissal. You gotta realize, Alex, I'm always one step ahead. I got my own personal drone with me right now. And we got the trophy look at you hacker and that is for killing 50 enemies using only hack security i then destroyed the next three which allowed me to unlock the door to the plasmid lab and once i entered we found gil now if we wanted to get to eleanor we were going to have to get a genetic key from gil to open her secret door but to get that key we were going to have to lure him out with four atom infused plants and as i was searching for those i found my 100th audio diary hey here we go another audio diary will this be my 100th one Yes, it will be. I then picked up the second flower. And when I picked up the third one, we learned that this is where Delta and Eleanor were bonded together. I then picked up the final one. And before learning out Gil, I chose to help rescue the final sister in the level. Let's go. I'm telling the other girls that I have the best daddy. Yep, good for you. I'm sending you home. Go. And we got the trophy dealt with every little sister. That was the final one. I was kind of rude to her. I did save all the little sisters. So if it's like last game, we should get a trophy for saving them all at the end of the game. We then lured out Gil and obtained his genetic sample and created the key. You got the key to Lamb's hideout sport. Eleanor's down there. Now just head out to the Oxyfill station and use it. The sample disposal button on the panel in front of you would administer a massive jolt of electricity to the tank more than enough to kill me i ask you to grant me peace no i don't think i will i then used the key in the oxyfill station to reveal the hideout and i got a trophy for doing so and we got the trophy found lamb's hideout and that is for gaining access to lamb's stronghold well let's get in this elevator and find eleanor and we got the trophy savior that is for saving every little sister and sparing grace stanley and gill we then entered the hideout and found eleanor locked within a quarantine chamber with lamb lamb then smothered eleanor with a pillow which stopped her heart long enough for delta's body to shut down delta is then captured by lamb and his bond with Eleanor is severed. However, Eleanor sends a special plasma to Delta that allows him to take control of a little sister. And as we take control of the little sister, we follow Eleanor's commands and bring her the parts to the big sister armor, allowing her to come and rescue me. <gasps> yes, Brute Splicer. I need you. No, 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 no. I need a video of him. Why did you do that? Now it's my turn to fight for you. And we got the trophy Max Plasma Slots. And that is for fully upgrading to the maximum number of plasma slots. And we got the trophy reunion, and that is for reuniting with your original little sister. Is this the final tonic that I need as well? Final plasmid, not tonic. But you know what I meant. We were now reunited, and we decided to head over to Sinclair's escape pod. It's our only chance of escape. From what I know of Sinclair, he wouldn't just abandon it. Yes, Delta. What of Sinclair? And where is he now? Yeah, where is he? Lamb then triggered a security lockdown, stopping us from reaching the escape pod. So once again, we had to shut that down. But to do that, I needed a key. Don't you recognize Sinclair, Delta? How could you do that to him? Oh my gosh, that's actually terrible. Lamb's in my head. I I 
can't help myself. I'm sorry. It's okay, man. I don't blame you. You didn't turn on me, at least. You didn't choose to turn on me, I guess I should say. Yes, here we go. Final brute splicer I need. This has to max him out, right? Oh. It did, and we got the trophy research master, and that is for completing all research on every subject in Rapture. After getting the final camera research trophy, it was time to face off against our old pal Sinclair. Come here, Sinclair. What is going on? I'm sorry, man. So long, kid. Sinclair is dead father. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I don't know if you were close. I remember the first time we saw each other. I flipped them off. I guess you could say we were close. We then overrode the lockdown, but once we got back to the escape pod, Lamb stopped us once again. Mother has bombed out the ballast compressors, father. Oh, Be yes. The ballast Unless. compressors. Yes, of course. Eleanor then came up with a plan to help us launch the escape pod, but she was not going to have enough energy to do what she wanted to do, so I helped Eleanor recruit little sisters to our team, and while she was doing that, I found my final weapon upgrade station. Let's upgrade the spear gun damage. We then recruited the final little sisters and returned to the escape pod. Please don't leave me. I have trust issues, so please don't do that to me. Here they come, father. Hold them off until I can bring it to a boil. All right, survive lamb's final assault. Give me one second, guys. I need to buy some stuff. Oh, oh. ow. Nice to meet you. And we're gonna buy some buckshots. We're gonna buy some 50 caliber rounds. Um, just a heads up, I cannot use my plasmids. I don't know if I've included that in the video yet. It's either my L2 button's not working or this is a feature in the game. Heat seeking RPG. Oh, crap. I can help you fight back now. Use the plasmid. Okay, you want me to use the plasmid? I can't. I can't use the plasmid. Don't worry, Eleanor. I can do this without you. Somebody help me. Eleanor, you just keep those children safe. Don't worry, guys. I'm doing this all by myself. No plasmids. This is a full natty playthrough. I've done it, father. The ballast water is gone. Release the docking mechanism. I released the docking mechanism, but the elevator to the escape pod was flooded. So to drain it, I had to destroy these glass tubes. And once I did that, Eleanor and I could finally escape. Yay. Let's go. And we got the trophy heading to the surface. And that is for heading to the surface on the side of Sinclair's escape pod. Run, run, run. I don't think we're going to survive this. The rapture dream was over. You taught me that evil is just a word. And when given the chance, you forgave. Always. Mother believed this world was irredeemable, but she was wrong. I mean, I know I saved all the other people, but you could have killed her. I, I would have been completely fine with that. Like, I would not have been upset at all. And we got the trophy Big Brass Balls. And that's for finishing the game without using Vita Chambers. And we got the trophy Escape. And that is for escaping Rapture. Now, since I had saved all the little sisters and spared everyone in my playthrough, Eleanor decided to use her needle to absorb the fatally wounded Delta's Adam and Conscious so that they could be together forever. And after beating Bioshock 2, I have 34 out of the 39 trophies. And the first trophy that I'm going to be going for is called Nine Irony. And to get this trophy, I have to pay my respects to the founder of Rapture. When I do this, I cannot be held liable for any future injuries that may occur after I do this. How the hell do I miss? He's not even moving. I'm not missing this shot. Andrew Ryan, go suck an egg, dude. Okay, third time's the charm. Just put it up right next to his head. Oh, the game must be broken. Fourth time's the charm. And we got the trophy Nine Irony, and that is for paying my respects to the founder of Rapture. The next trophy I was going for was to complete an entire little sister gather without taking any damage or letting her take any damage. And to protect the room, I deployed numerous traps, doubling my efforts to not only secure that trophy, but the Trap Master trophy. Let's give this a go. I could possibly get two trophies for one here. I got this place rigged. Oh, I did get the trophy Trap Master. That is for killing 30 enemies using only traps. Okay, all the traps are gone here. I need to lock in. Oh my gosh, I took damage. Stay- Dude, no! Let's try this again. I reloaded so I have more money so I can buy more traps. So we'll see how this goes. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Come on. I do not think I lost any health. We're so close. We're there. How could you? I just took damage right at the end. I'm gonna get it. I was- Oh my gosh, I can't believe I was that close. Damn, already I took damage. Let's try this again. I'm locked in. I'm getting in on this try. Stay away from her. This is the one. Oh my gosh, she almost got hit. Close call there. We're almost there. We did it. We did it, right? 
Yes, we got the trophy right, Master geez, Protector. And that is for getting through a gather with no damage and no one getting to the little sister. All right, and the final trophy that I'm going for in Bioshock 2 is called Against All Odds. And to get this trophy, I have to beat the game on the hardest difficulty. Now, this one's going to be a lot easier than the hardest difficulty on the first Bioshock because for this one, I'm allowed to use the Vita Chambers. But if I do start to struggle, I'll let you guys know. In this hard playthrough, I did end up dying a lot, but being able to use the Vita Chambers really just negated anything bad about dying. And after around five hours, I was finally able to make it to the end of the game. So for this playthrough, I decided to harvest all the little sisters that I encountered. So I want to see this ending now. There's a fly. Oh, what the? There's a fly in my room. I'm trying to get the platinum here. Chill out. That's right. I didn't kill any of the people. You failed me. The fly is looking right at me. I don't know if you could see it on my mic arm. It is looking straight at me. I should have killed the people then. I forgot. I left them all alive because it was quicker. And we got the trophy against all odds. That is for finishing the game on the hardest difficulty level. And we got the platinum trophy. Platinum trophy. That is for unlocking all the trophies though. And I am a great father. And this fly wants me so bad. What the hell is going on? I got a fly in my room. The game's crashing. Now we move on to the final game in the series. But before we do that, I'm going to include a shameless plug. Like what you see here? If so, go check out my Twitch channel. If we can hit 10,000 followers by the end of April, I'll do a 48 hour stream. Is that too much to ask for? Probably. And I probably should change my profile picture since it looks like I just saw the world's largest cop. We begin the game in 1912 on the coast of Maine as we sail towards a lighthouse. And once we arrived, we read a note that stated to bring the girl and wipe away the debt. And after reading that, I made my way to the top of the lighthouse where I was faced with a puzzle. Oh, wait, I had a piece of paper. So one ring for this, two rings for this, and two rings for this. Oh yeah, let me just go sit on this. Yeah, why not? Nothing bad could happen, right? Once I sat in that chair, I was thrusted up into the sky, which revealed the floating city, Columbia. And we got the trophy written in the clouds. And that is for completing the lighthouse. We then landed, but before I could officially enter the city, I had to get baptized. And once they put me under, I had a dream of New York on fire. And once I awoke, I was now in the city. And as I began my way towards Monument Island to find the girl, a child handed me a telegram. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Do not pick number 77? That sounds like you're telling me to pick number 77, though. I then headed to the raffle that the city was holding, and as I was on my way there, I discovered that I was the false shepherd that Father Comstock had warned the city about. And once I arrived at the raffle, I had to choose a baseball. 77. That's a lucky number. You just said, uh, it said not to choose number 77. So what did we do? We choose number 77. The winner is number 77. Claim your prize. First throw. What the hell? This does not seem like a fun raffle prize. It looks like we've got a shy one here. We've got to do something about that. Yeah, we do need to do something about that. We need to shut you the hell up. Why don't you give... Wait. It's him. Damn it. Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. How did that work? Oh, sorry. The entire city was now aware of my presence, so I was going to have to battle through a bunch of enemies if I wanted to reach Monument Island and get the girl. And thankfully, as I made my way there, I walked into a room with a bunch of gear waiting for me. I'm assuming all of this is here because it is the Bioshock Infinite Collection. And we got the trophy dress for success. And that is for equipping a piece of gear in all four slots. I was then given a shield potion by this kind lady, and then I continued my journey to Monument Island. But on the way there, I encountered these not-so-friendly people. Hello. Oh, guys! Hey, 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 hey! Damn, I was gonna let you guys live! 24 out of 25, I need one more kill with my pistol. Hey, guys. Okay. And we got the trophy, a real pistol. And that is for killing 25 enemies with the pistol. And after getting that trophy, I boarded a zeppelin to take to Monument Island. Hello. Yeah, I'm not gonna hurt you, I promise. Let me take control of this shit. Hey, what's up, Cumsock? I'm just a prophet. So I don't have to. Amen. Why is his voice doing that? Jesus! I mean, cheese Louise, I said I wasn't gonna hurt you. I didn't know you would do it to yourself. You're dropping G's Louise in 2024? Are you kidding me with this? Is this some kind of joke? Get out of town! I then jumped off the burning zeppelin and rode the skyline the rest of the way to the monument. Alright, let's go. We finally made it. And we got the trophy Welcome to Monument Island. And that is for reaching Monument Island. Once we entered the monument, we discovered a large device called the Siphon. And once we found Elizabeth, we witnessed that she has the ability to open tears to other places. I hope she doesn't attack me. I don't want to hurt you. Even if I tried, I don't think you would let me. Hey. <laughs> Jeez, why does every woman do that whenever I say hi to them? Will you stop it? Who are you? My name is DeWitt. Come to get you out get of here. Get away. <gasps> are you 
real? What happened to your pinky? There was no time to answer that right now because we needed to get out of the tower as Elizabeth's protector was coming after us. And in the process of coming after us, it destroyed the tower and knocked us into the water. Anna. No, it's me. Elizabeth. Is Anna my wife? Oh. Here, let me. AD on my hand. Anna do it. Our goal was to now get to the First Lady airship and get out of Columbia. And on the way there, we encountered the same people who gave me the shield potion. But this time, they gave a pendant to Elizabeth. We then encountered a few angry people. And once we got to the gondola to take us to the airship, I cranked the lever, but the power went out. So if we wanted to get to the airship, I was going to have to collect the Shock Jockey Vigor, which was located in the Hall of Heroes. But once we got there, someone had drank every single bottle. And not too long after, we found the man who had consumed it all slumped over on the fountain. You're not done here, soldier! Eat everything that's on your plate! Finish it. I'm gonna spare you. Maybe you'll join my squad. You're a tin man now! A tin man! Well, I'll take the shock jockey. And we got the trophy shock tactics. And that is for retrieving the shock jockey. Using the shock jockey, I powered up the gondola and we rode up to the airship, which meant it was now time to leave Columbia. Let's go. And we got the trophy first class ticket. And that is for boarding the first lady. I want to see Paris. Well, the game's not over yet, so how is this Wait, gonna go bad? What is that? 40 north by 74 west. That's not Paris, that's New York. One thing I had in that tower was time. Time to study things like geography. I owed money, and there's a fellow. He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on, everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me, and we can- <laughs> That was definitely Paris's coordinates. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't leave me. What's up? Why has everybody got to hit me? We then wake up to find that the ship is now under the control of Daisy Fitzroy. She is the leader of the Vox, which is a group rebelling against Columbia. Daisy then offers to return the ship to us if we can recover a shipment of weapons for her. And after getting our next mission, we then track down Elizabeth, who was not too happy to see us. Elizabeth, I've made an arrangement to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt, and a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. Well, there's an Eiffel Tower in New York. If you look hard enough, you'd find it. We were now making our way towards Finkton, and to no surprise, we ran into some resistance. Bang. 28. 29. Let me get a kill. Holy shit. Oh my god. What the fuck? I don't appreciate the jump scares, guys. I just wanted to get one more sniper kill. Thank you. And we got the trophy on a clear day. And that is for killing 30 enemies with the bird's eye sniper rifle. As we waited for the elevator to take us down to Finkton, Elizabeth found her mother's diary, which revealed that she was the one who wanted Elizabeth locked in the tower because she did not want to raise a bastard in her home. We then traveled down to Finkton and entered the gunsmith's place, but he was nowhere to be found. So we chatted with his wife, who told us that he had been taken to the Good Time Club. And once we got there, we found the cell that he was located in. We're too late. God damn it. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead. You guys again. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here? The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. We have to go through to this other Columbia. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? I think I'm ready. We entered the new reality and traveled back to the gunsmith, but he was completely out of it. So we talked to his wife once again, and she said that if we recovered his equipment from the police station in Shantytown, maybe he'd return to normal. I need one more kill with the machine gun. Can I please find someone to kill? Yes, they sent some enemies. Thank you very much. And we got the trophy passionately reciprocated, and that is for killing 150 enemies with the Founder Triple R machine gun or the Vox Repeater. I think I should be able to get the trophy for this weapon as well. 23 out of 25. Yeah, two more kills. And we got the trophy loose cannon, and that is for killing 25 enemies with the Paddy Whacker hand cannon. We then traveled down to Shantytown and entered the police station, but once again, we were met with some opposition. Is that George Washington? Damn you, George! And we got the trophy David and Goliath, and that is for killing 20 heavy hitter enemies. Okay, so that's what that meant. After taking care of George, we found the equipment and a tear appeared on it. What is that? It looks like a tear to a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. The tools aren't in there, then. Then they must be back, back at the, at the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this Terra, I don't think there's any turning back. We're going into another alternate reality? Do your magic, Elizabeth. It's very cool. And we got the trophy Armed Revolt, and that is for assisting the gunsmith. This new terror led us to a world where Booker had died and became a martyr for the Vox Populi. And once we returned to the gunsmith, we found him and his wife dead on the floor. But this meant that the Vox had their weapons, and we could get our ship now. And as we were riding up the elevator to get the ship, the phone rang. I saw 
you die, Booker. Listen, I got you your guns. I'm here for my airship. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Vox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a hero to the cause, a story to tell your children. You just complicate the narrative. We then found Daisy and watched her execute a man. And now it was just Daisy and the child. So Elizabeth decided to take action. Go to the window and strap Daisy. Distract her? What do you call a, a fish with no eyes? Only way to be... Elizabeth did what needed to be done, and now we can get back on the ship. Finally, we're getting back on the First Lady. Can I choose Paris or New York? And we got the trophy Working Class Hero, and that is for completing the factory. I can just take her to Paris now because I'm technically dead, right? Elizabeth cleaned up before we departed Columbia, but then the songbird struck again, leading to a crash. The two people then appeared once again, and they helped us realize that there was no way out of Columbia if we could not stop the songbird. The man then handed me a paper describing the instrument used to control the songbird, but we did not know what song to play. And who better to ask about the song than Comstock himself? So our mission shifted to reaching his home, and on our way there, we encountered some enemies that allowed me to get a couple of trophies. Oh, and here, little piggy, what's that for? Oh, one more kill with this weapon, and I get a trophy. 30th kill. Got it. And we got the trophy here, little piggy, and that is for killing 30 enemies with the Founder Pig Volley Gun or the Vox Hail Fire. Now I need two more kills with the shotgun. One more. And we got the trophy Street Sweeper. And that is for killing 50 enemies with the Founder China Broom Shotgun or the Vox Heater. It looks like I can also get another trophy if I call in this water puddle right here. We got the trophy Tear a New One. And that is for opening 30 tears. And after dealing with that encounter, we enter this building where I found an infusion upgrade. All right, this should be my 24th infusion. So once I infuse this, I should get a trophy. Let's infuse it into my salts. And we got the trophy infused with greatness. And that is for collecting every infusion upgrade in a single game. We continued on towards Comstock House. And as I was looting places, I found another infusion upgrade. Got another infusion right here. I could max out my health if I wanted to. I think I want to. And we got the trophy raising the bar. And that is for upgrading one attribute to its maximum level. I was not done looting just yet since I realized I was close to getting a trophy for doing so. Two more coins. One more coin. I'm assuming that trophy... I don't even know what that trophy's for really. Come on, one more coin. Yes, there we go. We got the trophy coins in the cushion. Oh no, that's for looting 200 containers. Oh, that makes more sense. And after a bunch of looting and killing, we made it to the gate of Comstock House. Let's enter the Comstock House. I don't know if my handprint will work, but yours will. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you. Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead. I think it's time I paid my respects. We're gonna exhume her body from the ground and use her to open that door. We then traveled over to Lady Comstock's body, but Comstock was already prepared. I don't like the sound of this or the look. You chose to follow a false shepherd and he has led you astray. <laughs> you won't listen to me. Perhaps you will listen to your mother. Demon mom. Where did she go? Hold on. Yeah, we need her no, body. Damn it. Ahead. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. Lady Comstock exists across time. She's both alive and dead. Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Elizabeth and I then followed the footsteps up to the store that had a lock on it. I think this actually should be the 30th lock you've picked for me, so we should get a trophy. We got the trophy the roguish type, and that is for using Elizabeth to pick 30 locks. Once inside, we opened up a rift that explained that Comstock is sterile, which meant Elizabeth was not actually his. And as we followed the footsteps to the next rift, I had to take down some enemies. Thank you. Vigorous opposition. I don't know what that's going to be for. Hopefully I can get it soon. Okay, so we got the trophy, and it is for killing 75 enemies with a vigor or while the enemy is under the effects of a vigor. I then open up the second rift that revealed that Comstock plotted the Lutess's murder. These are the two people that have been appearing along our journey with us, and he plotted their murder because they knew the truth to Elizabeth's origin. I then moved on to the third and final rift, which detailed that the Lutesses were now alive and dead at the same time. And with that, we headed back to the gate to take down the powerful Lady Comstock. Oh my gosh, just die already. Just die. me to bring you back, but I brought back a version of you from the reality that I had built up in my own head. He pretended to love you, like he pretended to love me. I am his victim. My days of victimhood are done. The prophet killed me because you wouldn't keep his secret. 
Oh, we didn't even have to use the hand to unlock the door. We went through all that. We could have just busted the gate. Is that why you look so pissed right now? Whatever. Enter the Comstock house. And we got the trophy Blood in the Streets. And that is for completing Emporia. I proceeded to call the gondola to take us to Comstock house, but the songbird appeared once again and took Elizabeth away from me. And as I chased after her, I unknowingly was taken into the future. And once I got inside, the security gate was locked. So I had to go upstairs and unlock it. Open the security gate. Should be able to head downstairs and get to Elizabeth now. Hell yeah. Oh my god! Every single game. Every single game. Elizabeth. As you can see, Booker, it took all I had left in me just to bring you here. I, I don't understand. I heard you screaming. I was I was coming to get you. Here. Take my hand. Since we were in the future, Elizabeth had inherited Comstock's cause and waged war on the world below. She then revealed that the songbird would always stop our rescue attempts in the past. What is this? It's for her. She'll know how to read it. What does it say? It's advice. Advice on what? How not to become me. Oh, that's some good advice then. She better listen to it. Elizabeth sent me back to the present and I was now tasked with rescuing her from all the people running tests on her. And once I did, I handed her the paper her future self handed to me. She's given us a way to get past Songbird. We're gonna find an airship and we'll leave Booker. Paris, Elizabeth. Remember, you wanted to go We're to- We're not leaving. We are going to find Comstock. Why? You saw what he turns me into. I will not allow that. And so what? You're going to kill him? This is where you start moralizing, Booker. I'm not going to let you kill him. Really? Booker? What are you going to do to stop me? Not a damn thing. Because I'm going to do it for you. And we got the trophy Higher Learning, and that is for completing Comstock House. As we exited the lab, we were greeted by the sight of Comstock's airship, and Elizabeth demanded that we find a way onto it. And as I looked for a way onto it, I found the final collectible for the Sightseer trophy. And here it is, the final telescope and kinetoscope. Look at the beautiful sights we have here today, folks. Absolutely amazing. And we got the trophy Sightseer, and that is for using all the telescopes and kinetoscopes in the game. We then boarded the airship and needed to make it to the fourth level to confront Comstock. And as I reached the third level, it was time to face off against the handyman. Oh, George Washington, you mean? Oh no, that's an actual handyman. Die. Just go down. Here, ammo. Thank you. And we got the trophy Heartbreaker, and that is for killing a handyman by only shooting his heart. I didn't know my accuracy was that good. I definitely wasn't just shooting to shoot. To be honest, I don't know how I got that trophy. I definitely shot places other than his heart, but I'll take it. And after taking him down, we made it up to the top of the ship and confronted Comstock. Everything I've done, I've done to keep you safe. Safe from what? Booker DeWitt. I've sent mighty armies to stop you. I've rained fire on you from above. When all I needed was to tell her the truth. Ask him what happened to your finger. Ask the false shepherd. Tell her. Please Tell her about go. her finger. I don't know what happened to her finger. Did I eat it? Did you get what you wanted? Booker. Tell me. Booker. Tell me. It is finished. <laughs> Nothing is finished. Booker. You lock her up for her whole life. Booker. You killed him. No, he's just taking a nap. You tell me, what did he mean about my finger? I don't know. I just assumed you were born with that. I, I don't know. What? Elizabeth, I swear to you, I have no idea what he was talking about. You do. You just can't remember. No, I'll prove it to you. Booker then came up with a plan to destroy the siphon so that Elizabeth could access her full power and reveal the truth to us. But before we flew over to destroy it, I found my final voxophone. And here we have it, the final voxophone. All 80 of them. And we got the trophy eavesdropper, and that is for collecting every voxophone. As I began to fly the ship, Elizabeth cracked the code and was able to gain full control of the songbird. And now with the bird on our side, we set sail towards the siphon, and in the meantime, we were going to have to fight some of the vox. I need two more kills with this weapon to get a trophy. Let's go. Here we go. One more. We got the trophy seasoned to taste, and that is for killing 30 enemies with the pepper mill crank gun. We then fended off the rest of the Vox and made it to the tower, which meant we could now order the songbird to destroy it. You can use the songbird to bring the whole damn thing down. And that's what you want. It's the only way we'll find the truth about my finger, Comstock, everything. What if I am Comstock? Tear it down. And we got the trophy the bird or the cage, and that is for completing the hand of the prophet. The songbird proceeded to demolish the siphon, and in the process of doing so, it also destroyed the instrument that we used to control it. The songbird then tried to attack us, but not before Elizabeth opened a tear, transporting us to rapture. Booker and Elizabeth remained safe inside, but the songbird was transported outside and was crushed by the pressure of the ocean. Elizabeth then took us to the surface, and then explains that we are within one of an infinite number of possible realities due to choices that have been made. She then begins to show us the truth. After the war, Booker went to get baptized, but at the last second decided to not go 
through with it. And on October 8th, 1893, Robert Lutes approached Booker on behalf of Comstock, requesting that he give them his daughter Anna and wipe away the debt. Booker reluctantly agreed to sell Anna in order to pay his gambling debts off, but he soon changed his mind and tried to stop them from taking her. Give me back my daughter! No! Found your pinky. Later on, Robert Lutes felt guilty for his actions, so he convinced Rosalind to help him bring Booker to Columbia and Rosalind's reality to help rescue Elizabeth. This is where it started. I sold you. To your credit, you did try to weasel out of the deal. What if I went back? I killed him before he did any of this. That's the only way to do it. Go back to when he was born, and I'll smother this son of a bitch in his crib. Are you sure this is what you want? I have to. It's the only way to undo what I've done to you. <laughs> Look at the whip. Are you ready to what be born this? again? Why are we are back here? This isn't the same place, Booker. Of course it is. I remember. Who are you? You chose to walk away, but in other oceans, you didn't. You took the baptism. You, you were born again as a different man. Jesus. Smother him in the crab. Smother, 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 smother. Before the choice is made. Before you are reborn. And what name shall you take, my son? He's Zachary Comstock. He's Booker DeWitt. No. I'm both. No way. I was joking when I said I was cum sock. I was just messing around. But we got the trophy 10 soldier. And that is for completing the main campaign on easy difficulty or above. And we got the trophy saw the elephant. And that is for completing the campaign on normal difficulty or above. And we got the trophy should old acquaintance. And that is for unlocking 1999 mode. And after beating Bioshock Infinite, I have 30 out of the 51 trophies. 30 out of the 50 if you don't want to count the platinum. And the first trophy that I'm going for is called Well-Rounded. And to get this trophy, I have to use all eight of my vigors on enemies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is a problem. I have to figure out how to get the eighth one. Okay, so it's in this office somewhere. But where? Oh, it's right here. How did I miss this? Now, as I was waiting for enemies to appear, I realized that I was probably not going to get this trophy when I used it. Nope, seven of eight. Did I ever use return to sender on anybody? Let's try it out. I don't think I ever used this before. And we got the trophy, well-rounded, and that is for using all eight vigors on enemies. The next trophy I went for was to fully max out a weapon and a vigor. And then I'll max out the Devil's Kiss. And we should get a trophy when I max this out. Now I was going for the Combination Shock trophy. And to get it, I had to perform all eight vigor combinations. And I only had one left to do, but I was not sure which one it was. I'm going to say it's Bucking, Bronco, and Charge. This has to be it. I never used this. And we got the trophy, Combination Shock. And that is for performing all eight of the Vigor combinations. Now, I would also like to get the trophy for using the Carbine Rifle to kill 100 enemies. I gotta be close to 100. I was kind of close to 100. But as I was going for it, I realized that the Skeet Shoot trophy was also within reach. Oh, I can get you in there. No. And then I somehow pulled off this kill, which counted as killing an enemy in the sky. And we got the trophy Skeet Shoot. Don't know how I just killed an enemy while they were falling. I swear I did not just kill anybody there. And we need two more kills with the Carbine Rifle to get the Big Game Hunter trophy. 99, 100. And we got the trophy Big Game Hunter. Now I'm going for the RPG trophy. I think there's one over here. Yes, there is. I only need two more kills. 19. Where's one more enemy at? Here we go. And we got the trophy Master of Pyrotechnics. And that is for killing 20 enemies with the Barnstormer RPG. So now I'm just going for kills with the Skyline Strike. 18 out of 20. We need two more. There's 19. And here we have it. Number 20. And we got the trophy Aerial Assassin. And that is for killing 20 enemies with the Skyline Strike. The next trophy I went for was the Industrial Accident Trophy. And to unlock it, I had to kill 20 enemies with the Skyhook Execution. One more kill. Finish him. And we got the trophy Industrial Accident, and that is for killing 20 enemies with the Skyhook Execution. I then went for the On The Fly trophy, and to unlock it, I had to kill 30 enemies while riding the Skyline. On The Fly, 28 out of 30, we only need two more kills. Who wants to be the final two kills? One more. And we got the trophy On The Fly, and that is for killing 30 enemies while riding a Skyline. Alright, now I'm going for the trophy to get five headshot kills while on the Skyline. I think I already have two out of the five. Oh no, I have four out of the five. Okay, here we go. Lock in. I'm not missing my shot here. And we got the trophy, the bolt from the blue. I'm now going for the more for your money trophy. And to get this trophy, I have to lure three enemies into a vigor trap five times. I was able to lure three enemies into a trap one time before I accidentally got another trophy. Hey, pal. And we got the trophy hazard pay. And that is for killing 10 enemies by utilizing environmental hazards. I then sat there and watched as more enemies piled up into the traps. 
We got it. There's the trophy. More for your money. And that is for luring three enemies into a single trap five times. Now I was going for the trophy to kill 20 enemies using possessed machines. Lock the fucking Abe Lincoln. We need you to get this trophy for me. Two more kills, Abe. One more kill. I missed it, but one more kill. Abe, I need your help here. Good job, Abe. You killed the other Abe. And we got the trophy Mind Over Matter. And that is for killing 20 enemies using possessed machines. All right, we are finally off of that ship. And the next trophy I'm going for is called Bomb Voyage. And to get this trophy, I have to kill 20 enemies by throwing them off of Columbia. This should be 15, hopefully. There's 18. Okay, why didn't it pop for 15? We're at 18 right now. Oh, I'll come down here with you guys. And I'll throw two of you off. And I'll get the trophy Bon Voyage. And that is for killing 20 enemies by knocking them off of Columbia. Then I went for the trophy to spend $10,000 at vending machines. And I honestly was not sure if I was going to get this since I only had $3,000 in my wallet. Let's just see if I, I have $3,000. Let's see if I buy a bunch of shit. I got it. You know what they say, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And that shot that I took right there just gave me the trophy Grand Largesse. And that is for spending $10,000 at the vending machines of Columbia. The next trophy that I'm going for is called Strange Bedfellows. And to get this trophy, I have to kill 20 enemies using allies brought in from tears. So I'm just going to be using this mosquito and hopefully killing 20 people with it. Now I can't control it. It has a mind of its own. The machines are rising up against us. So watch out for that. There's 19. One more. Get them. Good job, Mosquito. And that's for killing 20 enemies using allies brought in through a tear. All right, now we have the final trophy that I'm going for before I start my 1999 mode playthrough. And this trophy is called Long Weekend. And to get this trophy, I have to get absolutely shit-faced and then kill five enemies. So if I could just have a beer, please, or some type of alcoholic beverage. Don't mind if I just drink all this, do you? Oh, I'm a little woozy. Some say I can't handle my liquor. <laughs> And I got the trophy Lost Weekend. And that is for killing five enemies while I am drunk. And now it is time to complete the game on 1999 mode. And I have three trophies left, four if you want to include the Platinum. And to get these trophies, I'm going to have to beat the game on Hard Mode, beat the game in 1999 mode, and complete 1999 mode without using a dollar bill machine. Now it does say this Hardcore mode is for the best of the best. And if you watched any of my videos, you already know I do not fit in that category. I am the bottom of the barrel, the worst of the worst. Now the past two games weren't that bad on the hardest difficulty, but if I happen to struggle on this one, obviously, I'll let you guys know. Now, 1999 mode was honestly not that bad. The only thing I really had to worry about was just making sure I did not use a dollar bill machine. And after around nine hours, I was able to make it to the final battle. And all I left to do was take out the final enemy, which was Abraham Lincoln. Come down here with me. The crow's going to get you. Call it in, please. Yes, we did it. We beat the game. Obviously, the game's not over yet. We have to do that long chapter where we like learn everything, but I've completed all the combat in the game now. So that means we're gonna get the platinum trophy in around 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. Drown me. I want to see those trophies pop. And we got the trophy Stone Cold Pinkerton. That is for completing the game on hard difficulty. We got the trophy Auld Lang Sin. Don't know if I said that right, but that is for beating the game on 1999 mode. Now the trophy I'm really waiting for. Okay, yes. I was worried about this trophy. This one is for completing 1999 mode without using a dollar bill machine. And we got the Platinum Trophy, Platinum Columbia. And that is for acquiring all the other trophies in the game. And here we have it. I have platinumed all three of the Bioshock games. Now, if I had to rank them, I'd go Bioshock 1 in first place, Bioshock Infinite in second place, and Bioshock 2 in third place. I would explain why I ranked them where I ranked them, but this video is already long enough. And I hope you're having a good day, night, evening, morning, afternoon, breakfast, lunch, dinner, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. Have a good one.